Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, my name is Sekar Hadiwanik Spitasari and today I want to tell you about grammar. In grammar, there is a 16 tenses, but today I want to tell you only 6 tenses. The first tenses is simple past tense. Simple past tense is the tenses that we always use to express something happened in the past. A time signal of simple past tense is just like yesterday or two months ago or a year ago and just like that. And the structure of simple past tense is subject plus verb to. Okay, I will give you some example. Example is I sang the song yesterday. Next is simple present tense. Simple present tense is the tenses that we always use to express something happened now or something happened right now and we can also express this or we can use this to show a habitual action the structure of simple present tense is so is subject plus verb one s or es plus object before i give you some example of simple present tense i want to tell you that uh, s or es is for a part of subject i mean that s or es is for subject he she and it okay next to the example i will i'll give you some example and and the first example is c place gadget and the next is simple future tense. Simple future tense is the tenses that we always use to express something happened or so or something will be done in the future. A time signal of simple future tense is just like later or next or tomorrow or next weeks and just like that. But I think it's it's still a plain. And the structure of simple future tense is subject plus will plus verb one. Okay, I will give you some example. The f I will come to your house tomorrow. And next is the past continuous tense. Past continuous tense is a tense that we always use to express something happened in the past. The structure of past continuous tense is subject plus to be, was, or where, and, and plus verb 1, verb 1 plus ing, or we can say verb ing. Before I give you some example of past continuous tense, I will tell you that uh, was or where to be was or where is for a part of subject was is for subject I you we and they and so where is for subject he she and it the example of past continuous tense is I was cleaning my house yesterday next is Present continuous tense. Present continuous tense is the tenses that we use to express something in progress at the moment. The structure of present continuous tense is subject plus to be plus verb, verb and plus in, or we can say verb in. And for your information, the to be for the to be for present continuous tense is uh, three parts. There is a M, R, and is. M is for subject I, and R is for subject you, we, and they. And subject is is for he, she, and it. And okay, I will give you some example. 
you are sleeping and the last is future continuous tense future continuous tense is the tenses that we always use to express something will be happening in the future okay i mean something happening but uh, the meaning is something happening but not just something happen but happening it's like a uh, continuous for uh, uh, for uh, some time just like that and it's still like a uh, progress and the structure of future continuous tenses is subject plus subject plus to be to be to be is will be plus verb plus ing or we can say verb ing the example is uh, I will be working from 9 to 5 tomorrow okay that's all of the tense that I want to tell you today and thank you for watching